This is a, a demonstration on how to set up a silt screen to print on the back side of this gold so that from the outside looking into the window, we have just a gold leaf letter. So the gold has been put on the window. Now we're gonna set up the silt screen. So it's already marked. So we're gonna put this in precisely where it's going to go, meaning there and there. It's right on line. The crosshairs on the artwork are lined up with the lines there. So that's all set to go. There's no snap line across the gold because this and this were, were put on with just a, a Stadler pencil because this is in position right here. We can then line up the silt screen and we'll do that momentarily. We do need to prepare our blocks. So we'll get back to you in a minute after the blocks have had double-sided tape put on them to hold the screen in place. So now that the artwork is in position, this is exactly where the letters are gonna look gold from the outside. So we're gonna set up the screen by locking it onto the artwork by lining it up, line up the artwork perfectly by looking through it. You can see where the lettering is against the openness of the silt screen. Okay, so just gotta be careful. All right, that's ready to go. So what we do is we slide the block in so that that screen is locked onto that block good and well. Come over here, make sure that everything is in position. We're going to slide this in. Okay, the last thing is to lock in east and west, north and south. Here we go. We're just going to slide this in. Now, make sure that everything is Position well. Remove this. And from here, we simply put ink into the screen. Lug, lug. Now we've got ink down here, safely in place with the trough there so nothing can drip out in the carpet. The next thing we will do is before we print, take some of the ink, we'll flood the screen. That means that we'll charge the screen with ink. We'll put the screen up into position. It's locked in nicely because it's square to these blocks. Pick up a little more ink and pull the squeegee. I'm pulling the squeegee, you don't want it too flat because that can start flooding the lettering ahead of the open area. You don't want it too vertical to the screen because it'll tend to chatter like that. I'm doing this on purpose for the drama. So, so you want it sort of about 45 degrees, 40, 45 degrees. And pull, not with an immense amount of force, not too lightly, just pull. One time. Now, because there are offsets, meaning there's tape or cardboard or whatever you want to use on the back of the screen so that the screen, when you push in, will snap away from the window as you pull the ink. Okay? Then you'll get a very clean, clean image. Go. Okay, what we're doing now is gonna show you how we remove the excess gold. This is just a piece of electrical tape that I put on the gold to hold an image there. 
So I'm going to go around now and I'm going to show you, or you go around and see how this gold is removed. So I've got a damp napkin and I've got a dry napkin. So here we go. I'm going to start removing the excess gold. Okay. Now, if it's a really, really strong gild, sometimes you may have to use something like a small dab of Stabilo. I mean, um, Bonami. You can, you can get that out of there, right, Jimmy? Yeah. And um, as you can see where the gold is being removed, we now have an image. This is a very fairly damp tissue. Sometimes the enzymes in the spit. Don't let anybody see you doing this. Work really well. That's an old sign painter's trick. <laughs> and it's true. All right. Okay. You probably have a fairly decent image there. Now, if we would silt screen with ink, it'd be the same thing. The excess gold can simply be removed with a little liquid, some water, um, some banami, if it's really, really a tough gild where you really need to work hard. But in general, a damp towel and a dry towel so you can go wet and immediately dry. All the excess gold is gone. That's the trick.